everybody, I am Molly West, and this is Eternal Edge once again. And I think I'm going to help find that missing soldier that this guy wants me to go find. Hoping that I don't run into anything that's too strong for me to fight. Which might be the case, as I am only level one. Now let's see if fall damage is a thing. Not looking like it probably would have hurt me if I didn't get caught by the mountain. But, like I said in the last episode, this game is real cool, but the controller support needs a little work. Can't move the camera at all with the controller. Maybe it's just my controller. Maybe it's just my computer. I don't know, but either way, I cannot control the camera with my controller. And I clicked out of the game. Fantastic. Uh, okay. That's a bit wrong. Uh, what is happening? Okay, that fixed it. And you there. Okay, you're only level one. I can take you. Don't you wander away from me. There we go. And I should do a bit of combat because I am in dire need of some leveling ups. I really need the level up. And get out of my way. I'm trying to kill your pet. There we go. Now it's your turn, level five vermin grunt. I held my own against a bone troll in the last episode. And level eight bone troll, I might add. Sort of. I sorta held my own against it. I almost beat him, but in the end I... I blew it. I fucked it up and then I died and I can... I can push this thing. Neat. Smack. Oh, it just exploded. Is there just an endless supply of these things? Just pop it out of this hole in the wall. Is that what am I what I'm seeing here? Heh. <laughs> yep, it definitely looks like it. Because there that that one definitely was not there a moment ago. Now, yep, there's another one. Well, on the upside, I have an endless source of 16 XP. That's good. These are the missing soldiers. Even though I was only told there's one soldier. Ah, uh, reinforcements. Please tell me you're here to help. I guess I am. Finally, I've been out here trying to get these guys out of here, but we keep getting ambushed by machines. If you help us, I think we can win the battle. All right. We can get the rest of the way just fine after. All right, then, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Lose if any good guy is destroyed. Defend them. Okay. That's a rather high level enemy. Now, this is not looking too good. I think I beat one of them. Are you fucking blocking me? My shield! How dare you! I wanted to keep that shield, and you go and break it like that, and I'm all about to be dead. Well, it would seem that I have made a tragic mistake. I still just have to survive 25 more seconds, and keep... Oh, I'm dead. I have failed to survive that 25 seconds. Yeah! Okay, what quest do you have? Oh, hey, you look like you can help me out. Maybe. I was told to go out on a scouting trip, but I need to prep up first. Are oh, they busy? Can you get materials and make a few and make the pumpkin bombs and craft stations? The, it's the busy setup right next to us. Yep, I can do that. Essence of boom. I got lots of essence of boom. So you want me to craft a few pumpkin bombs? Which I can do with some pumpkins, fuse, and essence of boom! Well, there you go. I made you pumpkin bobs. And now, let's go ahead and finish this quest. This is not the thing I wanted. I wanted to talk to the dude here. Talk to Dude Man McCool to get the thing. Oh, thanks. This will help a lot. 
make sure you utilize the crafting station as much as possible. Tools with such as bombs and ammo are vital in the wild. Yeah. And that's some experience for me. Nice. Speaking of, I really need more experience. So, okay, I'm guessing that didn't save because I didn't decide to set up camp. I'm gonna go ahead and save so I can keep that bit of experience. So I set up camp. And yeah, there's that little floppy disk up there saying, yep, you saved the game. Congratulations, you're not so goddamn stupid. But anywho, there's some enemies over this way. And the Twitch chest. Eternal Essence! Whee! And it definitely looks like there is no such thing as fall damage in this game. That was good. The lack of fall damage will enable me to jump off of mountains and shatter my skeleton without fear of dying. I'll just take that. If I get enough of that, I'll be able to be making some more armor and shit. And I definitely need me some level up, so guess it's grinding time! Do a bit of grind and do a few little quests. I only got three experience out of that wild boar. That ain't too bad for me. Well, it ain't good, but it ain't bad either. Ah, yes, some real enemies. Some level eight vermin grunt. I can take care of you with no trouble. Very little trouble here. Look at you go fall down like that. Booyah, motherfucker. But still not enough for a level up. God damn, I really need me some level ups. How did I level up so fast the first time? Hey, Tech Dust, neat. Now that I think about it, did I even talk to Pierce after getting that eternal essence? Uh, is that what helped me level up? Was that counting as a quest that gave me the experience needed to level up and such? How dare you stab me like that? But anyway, I do remember that tech dust being needed to make some better equipment. I can really see myself playing this game a lot, especially on my own time, but the open world bit of it doesn't really lend itself too well for my style of let's play. So this is the third episode I am recording in a row. Let me know what you think of this game, and if you want, I will do a few more, I'll do some more videos on it, but if not, I'll probably just play this game on my own, because this, this is really fun. But the huge exploration, that, all that's gonna take some time, and time isn't exactly plentiful if you do, if you go recording videos the way that I do, like, I, I usually just sit down and record three 20 minute videos, and then I just edit those together, but it looks like 20 minutes ain't gonna be enough for episodes of this. Requires Misty Cavern's key. This is where one of those cursed orbs were at. And now I got me another well. Sweet. Ah. I forgot to save after turning on that first travel well. Shit. And I'm noticing that Forsaken Strand place over there. Recommended level is 60 plus. That's probably some place I should be coming to later. Well, I guess it's time to start the long walk back to the beginning area. Well, I guess technically I am still in the beginning area, but you know what I mean, a place where I can find enemies that I can actually fight and some quests I can actually do so that I can actually get stronger and level up and such. That is what I need. Or maybe I should actually focus on the high, high tower quest. That seems like a thing I should be doing. Now let's go talk to Astra for once and actually do the quest. I'm noticing there's a travel well icon showing up on that little mini map. There it is, I see that well over there. Open up some 
teleporty spots so I can actually travel from place to place. There we go. That's how we do it! Are you the person I'm supposed to be talking to, or are you? <sighs> Sorry, I don't have much time to mingle. The Guardian sent me, or too bad, listen up. Who are you? I'm a guy. That's who I am. Oh, Pierce sent you. Yes, he did. He came all the way from the sanctuary, eh? Yep. Those guardians, they know the situation we're in over here against the vermin. They only sent you? They do, but I don't. It took, look, a few decades ago, the people of Bayor took the last, took the last stand against the Skeleton King. Our parents thought they had the power to defeat him, but obviously they were wrong. They got their asses killed, and now we're here cleaning up their mess. Well, yes, they had soldiers. Yes, they had power and weapons. They also failed to acknowledge that the Skeleton King's barrier was unbreakable. The people of Beor marched against the Skeleton King and the Forsaken Strand. And it ended with many children losing their fathers. How hard is it for you to understand that? Our numbers have ever been few since then. And Pierce, he didn't wait a minute to join the Guardians. I tried to follow him, but the Royal Guard needed me more. And the Guardians don't allow women into their group. Kind of sexist, if you ask me. Now, more than ever, I need Pierce. But he sends me you. A weak, pathetic, scrawny little shitbag covered in feces. I'll be more than enough. My stank will knock them all out. It is true. Every man and woman is precious. The vermin raided this tower not a few nights ago. They took three of our men captive. Cross, you hardly seem like you can lift your weapons. All the same, I need you to rescue these men. We are so few, and the vermin have them in cages. A scouting party managed to get this key from the vermin. Use it to free the royal guard's men. All right. I got it. And... If you had the key, why didn't you go do it yourself? You lazy. The vermin are just over there, over those hills. They hide in their stronghold. And, oh, and Cross, how did Pierce speak of me? He said you were strong. Sorry, never mind. Just get those men back and return and safe and return to me when you're done. There are three of them, Cross, each with a home. Hey, I leveled up! Nice! And did that say I got some Healy juice? What is this? A wooden spear? Not gonna use it! Even though it is a bit stronger than my sword. But it ain't a sword, so it ain't getting used. And I'ma go ahead and put this in there. Eh. No, not there. I don't want it there. Can I... Eh. No? How do I select where it goes. I'm trying to drag it, but that ain't working. Well, I figured out how to use things in that slot. I just press one. That's all there is to it. Now, let's go see about rescuing those dudes with my broken eyeballs! And I should probably save before I go do that so that I can act, so I don't have to go through all that dialogue again. A level 5 event for defending knights? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not level 5. I'm only level 2. Now, hopefully level 2 is enough to do this quest in the Vermin Stronghold. And I'm fighting level 6 dudes. Great. Good to know. But it ain't nothing I can't handle. Let's go, you verminy bastard. And you grunts and you vermin and you face now die bitch let's see ah uh, you got plenty of rodents and friends running around and the camera's blocked by tents that don't help me do much but i can clear you out just fine and i also got some healing juice so that i can heal myself when i get my face stabbed and ripped off and shit this is where the thing's sending me to that's where the marker's pointing. 
but I need to find me some dudes who are captured. That is a bomb. Why are bombs happening? Because you are throwing them. Can I get unstunned, please? That's a thing I really don't like. I do not like getting stunned. Now, I'm gonna take care of you so that you don't go chucking no more bombs at me. Iron shield. I'll just take that for when my shield breaks. Excellent. Endless supply of vermin rodents. That's always a good sign. Now, just die. All y'all needs to die. All y'all needs to die. There, you done died. And you're a thing that needs to die, too. All these things needs to die. Every single one of them. Because if they're still alive, that does not help me with the process of being alive. Gathered iron shoulders, I don't need them, but I could use another spare shield. Considering how fast these things keep breaking on me. And, and there we go, I got him. And is there any way to stop these things from endlessly spawning? Can I break their den? Do I need to bomb that thing? Oh, well, you're here now. Now just save us all a lot of grief and tell me where the dudes are. The dudes that I came here to find that you're holding prisoner. I came here to rescue them and you're being a bunch of dickbags about it. Should I be concerned about the purple fireballs? Uh, stop aiming for the rodent, jackass! I want to aim at the damn fireball! But nope, there's a rodent! Let's look at that instead! I wanted to at least see what that fireball thing was called. Gonna have to deal with the bomby man. Or just let him blow himself up. That seems like a viable strategy. Now... Another guy with the bombs! Get your bomb ass out of here with all your bombs! There. And now for this thing that I can't seem to lock onto, but is definitely some sort of enemy because I'm able to hurt it. Great. Now. I'm gonna hold off on restoring my health because I'm don't have an infinite supply of Healy Juice, and you're over here throwing bombs at me, and you're level 13, and that does not bode well for me, but I can deal with your nonsense and kick a you ass. Now, there, your ass hasn't been kicked, and I only got two experience out of him. Jesus Christ, why do I barely get any experience out of enemies? That is... Kind of dumb. Now, where, oh where, would I find captive soldiers that need to be rescued? Because that is what my objective here is. Wee! I'll break this. And I see these guys won't stop spawning. Stop your running, you stupid little bitch! Ah, here's a dude. That's what I'm looking for. Open up your cell, get rid of this little bitch, cut them all down. You are free, the door's all weird, you came to rescue me, I mean you're dead. Just doing my job, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to cut some more rodents, and then I'm gonna go free those other two dudes that is in here somewhere. They gotta be in here somewhere, the game wouldn't just lie to me like that. Take that, you pot! Ah, there's another guy. Now that I've found him, I need to kill everything so that they don't bother me while I'm busy trying to free the dude. And, wait, didn't I already take care of you? Or are you just another vermin bomber? I thought I'd wiped out all the guys, hoping that the regular enemies don't respawn like those little piss ants do. You can't rescue me, I mean, you're dead. Get the fuck out. Good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kill you and your friend over there, and then I'm a gonna have a seizure, apparently. Then I'm gonna go and find the other guard. Okay, I definitely killed this guy before. 
and he has returned from the dead. That's fantastic. Just get your ass out of my way so I can look for the dude I'm looking for. Who is apparently not up here on top of the cliff. Fan fucking tastic. Ah, I see him. Unless that's one that I already opened and the lock just respawned on the door. Are you trying to blow me up? How dare you? Get your ass out of here with all your bobs and your wooden spear and your rodent. Now, it is our... Uh, I am going to save the dude and kill all the other dudes who get in my way because they're a bunch of asshole dudes. And that's all there is to it. Dudes is saved. Those are the same as what I already got, I would think. You get your ass out of here. Yeah, that thing's got a little up arrow on it, meaning that it does a little more damage than my sword. But not enough damage to warrant making me switch from my sword to a stupid-ass wooden spear. Alright. You're safe. Get the fuck out. Go leave now. Go fuck yourself. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of here. That guy's going down the wrong side of the mountain. Ain't you supposed to stay on the road? Instead of just sliding down the rocks? Even the NPCs don't want to follow the rules. I got the people. Now then. Maybe Pierce was right sending you. Yeah, he was. And I done went leveled up. And like I said earlier, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to keep playing this game and making videos. If not, I'll just play it on my own. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye.